Hello beautiful people! Again, I said that last time, I'm being really kind to everyone. If you didn't know, I've traded the C30 in and obviously I love Rebel Blue and all that so I decided to buy a bright blue Mustang. I'm joking, obviously. This Mustang is in with us for the next two days um, because it's having some racing stripes put on it. So Mustang, of course it needs racing stripes. So these stripes are going to run, there's going to be two, and they're going to run up the bumper, up the bonnet, up the roof, down the roof, down the rear bumper. Um, and they're going in this very beautiful white, um, which is a 3M colour. It is 3M gloss white gold sparkle or something like that. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Can you see that? Oh yeah, you so. can, yeah. Um, it's like when it hits the light, it's got like a gloss, it's not gloss, like a goldy, pearly, metallic glitter into it. So, um, yeah, it's going to have two stripes in that along the car, and then it's having gold pinstriping as well. So, um, we thought we'd do a little video on this because, um, you know, like stripes on a Mustang is quite common. In a lot of the tutorials and stuff on YouTube, they're using pre cut stripes, whereas obviously, if you want to go like a custom colour like this, you're going to need to measure and cut everything yourself, which is what we're going to be doing today. Um, and I'm going to show you how I would do it personally. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it, but this is the way that we're going to do it. So listen to me because I know what's right. So here's the gold pin stripe in. Um, that's going to go on the edge of the white stripes to, you know, kind of like break it up, make it look a bit funky. Actually, for this job, all you need is a tape measure, which we have here. This is a small one, but you have a big one. Tape measure, a blade, knife is tape, Masking tape, that's all we need. And a squeegee. This, and a squeegee, yeah, but I'm not talking to measure. Obviously, if you are using pre cut stripes, all you've got to do is you've got to find the centre and then obviously just lay your stripes. But, like I said, if you want them to go custom colour, you're going to need to, you know, measure the whole basically like blueprint. Stop doing that. You're going to need to measure the whole blueprint of the stripes onto the car and make sure that everything's central, which is quite hard. So it's, it would be quite easy to do it on just one panel, but then you've got to carry that centre line across the whole centre of the car, which is going to be quite tricky. But um, we're going to start with the bonnet, and we're basically we're going to measure the bonnet, we're going to find the centre point, and then we're going to measure out. Obviously that sounds quite complicated, but it will make sense when I start doing it. So we've just measured, obviously, the width of the bonnet at like the widest point, which is about here, um, and it's 65 inches across. So, 32 and a half is this little dot right in the middle here. There is actually a very, very faint um, body line. Can see it, I mean. You can kind of, can you see it? Yeah. In certain light, there is a very faint body line in the actual bonnet, in um, which would obviously be in the middle, but it's too faint for us to get a, like, a direct line across. But that dot that I've just made there, I can see this light is sat right on that body line. So basically now, I just need to continue this centre line, but keep, because this is just a whiteboard marker, don't worry, I'm not drawing on a Mustang and a shark pen. Um, so it literally wipes straight off. But I need to dot a line all the way down so that I can get it straight across all this bonnet. There's a lot of mathematics involved in this. I was never very good at maths. You can see very faintly with the whiteboard marker, we have marked out, so we've measured each, like different points of the bonnet. Um, so that we've got like a guide to work by, so we've got dot after dot after dot working its way up to the bonnet. Now this bit, obviously we've got a lot of like grooves that like go down there, go down there, so that's going to like affect the measurements. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure from this highest point here to that highest point and then obviously find the centre point from that bit as an opposed to doing the whole bonnet. So, now that we've got like a dot line um, of the centre point, I'm now going to run just a piece of masking tape directly down the middle because then we're going to use this masking tape as the middle point and then we can measure outwards from that. So now that we've found the middle point is basically we now need to measure um, obviously from the edge of this masking tape out like the same on each side, and that is going to be that starting edge of one stripe. So obviously this middle piece is obviously going to still be blue. Does that make sense? I feel like it doesn't make sense until I do it, but you'll see. 
We were umming and ahhing how far to come out um, and I've come out half an inch from the edge of this tape. I'm going to go half an inch each side so obviously when you take the tape off there will be a lot bigger of a gap between the two main stripes than that gap there but yeah that's what we're doing so as you can see I've literally just been dotting small lines all the way up I'm going to continue that up the bonnet and then I'm obviously going to join all of those lines with a um, piece of knifeless tape and that should be straight and should be the same length away all the way down. It looks like now obviously we've measured equally on both sides we've got two lots of knifeless tape now running which is going to be the first edge of the strip. Now we need to measure, I think we're going to do eight inch thick strips each side so we need to measure eight inch outwards all the way up again, again using a dot method so then we can draw another straight even line of knifeless. As you can see with a little bit of a cheeky measure um, we've managed to get two racing straps down. So this is knifeless tape, this is what cuts vinyl without you having to use a blade. Um, so that is obviously the outline of the two stripes. We're gonna cut some vinyl now. Um, luckily this bonnet is obviously the longest panel that we're doing in one go and it's just shorter than like the height of a roll of wrap. Then we're gonna cut, then we're gonna see what it looks like, see if it looks cool. I think it will. sparkly bits. Woo, looks mega. I put the gold pin striping on as well. Um, so I've just put it on the outside because the picture um, that you know the customer showed me had just a pin stripe on the outside. Obviously when they come to collect it I'll ask them whether they want the pin stripe on the inside but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Um, so now we're going to move on to the roof and I'm going to show you a quite clever little trick to measure the centre of the roof. So this is like a, just a piece of masking tape that I've put from one end to the other um, and if you come over here you can see that I've drawn a little line on there where the ridge of the roof is and I've done the same <coughs> I've done the same on the other side so now all I've done is I've pulled that back and I've matched those two lines up 
And now all I need to do, hang on, you can see that they're like perfectly matched up there. All I need to do is I need to just mark there and there. And there's the center of the roof. Fucking hell. Are you mad? I'm not just an ugly face, me. So then I can run another centre line down the middle, same again, measure half an inch out, measure eight inch wide. Bada beam, bada boom! <laughs> So I've been a very, very busy bee for the past couple of hours. Well, I say a couple of hours. If we totaled it together, it's probably not all that long, but I just kept sitting down. Um, bonnet's done, the roof is done, and the boot lid's done. Um, so I used the same method in measuring the roof, where you know you put the tape and you put it to halfway. Um, I used that on the boot and that worked perfectly. You can see that it is all in line. But yeah, tomorrow, um, it's because it's getting quite late now, so we're just gonna, um, the car's gonna be collected tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna do these two pieces here on the rear bumper. We need to get rid of all that where the number plate was, some glue and tar, and I'm then gonna do this piece here um, on the front bumper, and then this piece here, which should be fine to do with just the offcuts of these pieces. So yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Is it morning? Yeah, it's still morning. Um, it's the day after, so obviously we did all what we did last night. Today we're just finishing off the bumpers. So I've had to spend most of the time this morning actually getting rid of all the glue from where the sticky pads were holding the number plates, but we finally got rid of it all. And I've just measured out the center line for the rear bumper. So it was quite hard to do it, so obviously because you've got quite a lot of recesses, if I was to just measure, it wouldn't take into account these recesses, so the centre line would be quite off. So what I've done is I've used the same method as what I did on the roof with the two pieces of masking tape. That there got me a centre point there. Then I did those two there, obviously where the two lines in the boot are, that got me a centre point there. Um, I did those two there, which got me a centre point there and then I did between these two parts of the sensors, which got me the centre point there, and they all lined up perfectly. So that's what that centre line is now. And then same again, measuring out half an inch. Same method. Clever. So this is the actual final piece. So this very long, tedious puzzle, um, this is the final bit of knifeless. Ooh, epic. Last little bit. Just need to trim that bottom bit off and it's all done. I need to finish off the pin stripes on these bit, give it a nice little clean and then we'll pull it outside and show you what it looks like. But from what obviously I've seen on in here, obviously I've not been able to look at it from a massive distance, but from in here it looks sick.
We now have officially got two. Oh, thank you, my love. Thank you, that's fine. We've got two beautiful gold, white, white, gold sparkle custom racing stripes with mustard. Um, if you ever stumble up across a mustang and think I want to put some racing stripes on it, I know how to do it. You're welcome.